today we are searching for an old abandoned truck to upgrade into the craziest snowplow truck that you have ever seen but before we can do that we need to find several key parts to make this build complete the first thing we have to do is find a new truck for the business that i'm trying to get started today now we do have some old trucks here there's even like a nice pickup truck up on top but i think that one is a little bit too old to be plowing snow so what we're going to be doing today guys is searching for a truck that we can use to start our new snowplow company and you guys are probably wondering why do you need a snowplow company you already have a towing company and plus it doesn't even snow in los santos anyway so sunny out here and we're on a beach well you guys are right but i was watching the news and the meteorologist said that this winter is going to be the biggest snowstorms hitting this area and we're going to be getting a ton of heavy snow so to prepare for that i decided to go ahead and start a new company and i also wanted a challenge guys you guys can see this shop down here is doing pretty well we have a ton of trucks for our tow company and i kind of just wanted to do something different and start a snow removal company so let's go ahead and get started and the first thing we have to do is find a truck now what i was thinking is simeon he has an ad out and he has some new trucks out in his shop or in his dealership that are for sale so i think we're gonna head over to his dealership head over to the pdm see what he has in stock hopefully we find something that's affordable and then we can use that to start our snow plow company now the thing is I don't want to spend too much money, so I'm hoping Simeon can cut us a deal. If he cannot get us a good deal, we're going to have to come up with a backup plan on how we can find a truck. And we do not have much time because according to the meteorologist, the snowstorm is coming in 24 hours. So we got to get this done today. We made it to the premium deluxe motorsports. So let's head inside and see what they have. Now we're gonna need obviously a pickup truck. So I'm gonna fast forward through most of these. This is a vapid contender. That would be nice, but I'm looking for something a little bit better if you guys know what I mean. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this guys. Okay, this is exactly what we need. This is a newer model Chevy Silverado 2500. This thing would be perfect for pushing snow. Let's buy it. Whoa, wait a minute. 291,000. That is way too much money. Simeon is wild. And let's see what else they have. Okay, guys, this is actually nice. A Ram TRX. This is like a performance model of the Ram. I think this will be perfect. But for 321,000, you gotta be kidding me. That's gonna be a no. Next option is a Ram 3500. Now, if the TRX costs that much money, I don't even want to know how much this 3500 is gonna cost. Uh, 300k, not horrible but still way over budget and here's another 3500 this one looks like it's hooked up a little bit 512,000. okay guys we're gonna have to go to another dealership or find another idea because this is not working they do have a ford f350 it's a ford cheaper 285 it is but that's not cheap enough so yeah this isn't gonna work out guys so we gotta come up with another idea of how we can get a truck for a much cheaper price i have some good news this guy just got shot up in his pickup truck well honestly that's bad news but apparently he was a gangbanger was like a drug bust gone wrong and the police department they called us out to impound the vehicle and i believe it's a pickup truck and we may be able to use it for our plow truck company so depending on how damaged it is i'm thinking we'll be able to fix it up um try to buy it from the insurance and you know if it's total they're gonna pretty much sell it to us pretty cheap with like a salvage title or whatever so we should be able to get it super cheap we should be able to fix it up and then we should be able to turn it into a plow truck so i'm super excited let's hope this idea works out so the call is actually in a very weird place but i do know a little shortcut on how we can get down there we just have to get through this construction site here and if i just kind of squeeze through don't even hit the barricades and we are good so let's head down here and see what's going on i see we have ambulances are right here swat teams a whole bunch of cops man look how many bullet holes are in that car that is unfortunate looks like there's a guy on the passenger seat i wonder if that's the owner of the vehicle that got shot again it's kind of an unfortunate situation but i mean if we could get this thing for cheap that would be very very nice wait there's somebody inside oh my god this is 
deadly. They shot this thing up, man. But surprisingly, not much damage to the engine. We're all gonna have to obviously replace all these doors and glass and everything. We're also gonna need tires. This is crazy. Let me talk to the cops and see what's going on. So believe it or not, the cop says that I can take the vehicle. They just told me to dump the guy out anywhere. So yeah, this is a little different from what we normally do, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do here today. So let's go ahead and put the bed down on the 337. And there we go. Now, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna take this guy out of here. I mean, y'all sure y'all don't want to do this yourselves? It's, it's kind of strange. Sorry, man. Hopefully he doesn't mind us taking his truck. Damn, he's just bleeding out. This, this is terrible. But we do have a job to do, so we're going to go ahead and attach the winch to the front. And let's start winching this thing up. So we got the truck loaded onto the bed, and we could go ahead and get out of here now. Again, very unfortunate for these people here. But um, yeah, we got to get this thing out of here. So I'm going to take it to the shop. I'm going to contact the insurance agency, and I'm going to see if they will sell it for me. Because nobody's going to want to shot up. TRX that had a dead body in the driver's seat. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Stay on your side of the road. So we made it back to our shop and we got the TRX in one piece. So let's get it inside and start working on it. Now, from the outside, I can see we're going to need windshield, we're going to need glass, we're going to need body panels. But other than that, I think we're going to be okay, guys. And I did start it up when we were on scene. And boy, did that engine purr. This thing is a beast, a high-performance vehicle. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear it once we have it restored to its original condition. So right there should be good. Let's put the bed down and get this thing unloaded. And down she goes. Listen to that, guys. It still runs. Oh, this is perfect. Should we do a test drive in it? Probably not. I mean, we look at the back tire. The back tire is so messed up. And some of the tires are flat, but... Oh, my God. That sounds so great. We just blew another tire, but that's fine. We're going to fix all of this anyway. So let's get this loaded on to the the uh, lift and let's start working on it now guys we do have some body panels in stock already so i'm gonna test these hoods out and see if any of them fit hopefully one of them do because if it does we'll be able to save some money i just got off the phone with moore's mutual insurance and they did agree to settle and let me purchase the trx for twenty thousand dollars which is a huge discount from that 300k that simian wanted so that is perfect we are now the proud owners of it and now i have assigned my best mechanic to work on it and um work on getting all those bullet holes and stuff out so while he's doing that i gotta run around the city and grab some parts for it i think i'm gonna get some tires first since all of the tires are flat so i was looking online and i found out that hayes auto actually has some of the parts that we need in stock for this trx so we came down with our forklift and let's pick up what we need here we are so as you guys can see they have a lot of the stuff that we're gonna need as far as the body materials radiators all that stuff that got messed up we'll be able to kind of purchase it from here and fix it now they did have this stuff pretty cheap i'm not sure if they're like chopping up cars or whatever but i'm not asking questions cheap parts is what i need right now now the guy I spoke to he said it's gonna be on the other side i'm not even sure if this is like two different shops oh i'm sorry lady almost killed her I think it's the same shop. I don't even know, but he said it should be over here. And where is it? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Now, they said like this is going to be like a no contact pickup or something. So, like I said, it's, it's a little sketchy. I'm not sure if these parts are legal or whatever, but like I said, we got a very good price and we can't beat it. So, we're going to take these parts off of Hayes Auto Hands and we'll use it to repair our truck. Excuse me. <laughs> he actually turned around. That's funny. So we're going to put this onto the front of the trailer. Can we lift it high enough? I think we can. And line it up. And we got that loaded onto the trailer. So now we can put the forklift back on. 
And I do have to make one more stop because believe it or not, guys, we need more parts than just what's inside of that box. So we got everything loaded up onto the trailer. We're now heading to our next location. And we are here at Mosley's Auto. And I believe they said they're gonna have some tires ready for us. And I see them, perfect. So let's go grab those tires. Should we just take the whole pallet? Um, or should I just lift them up individually? I might as well take the whole pallet, why not? Yeah, I could easily lift those up, but why work hard when you can work smart and use your machinery? Plus, it's kind of fun to just kind of load stuff. Uh-oh, can we get it? Can we get it? These forklifts are a little tricky sometimes. You gotta get it just right. And we got it, perfect. So we're gonna place this into the trailer, onto the trailer in the middle. And we got it onto the trailer now. We put the forklift back on and we'll head back to the shop. And we are back to the shop with the parts that we need. And I'm hoping my mechanic made some progress. It has been about an hour or two. So let's see if they were able to get rid of all of those bullet holes and replace the glass and all that mess. And it looks like they did. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Great job, man. That is awesome. Okay, so what we have to focus on now is switching out the wheels, which we have on our trailer. But yeah, everything is looking great. Nice. We still got some scratches, but that's fine. Minor cosmetics. We're going to get this whole thing wrapped, too. We're going to get some nice graphics on it, too. We got to come up with a company name, by the way, too. What do you guys think we should name our snow removal company? We got to come up with something. I have an idea, though. So let me get these parts unloaded, and then we will move on to the next challenge, which is going to be locating a plow blade. Where the heck are we going to find a plow blade in a city that doesn't experience much snow? I don't know, but we got to figure it out. Long drive. I had to come all the way up here to Polito and honestly I hate coming up here because it's so far from the city and it's so far from all of my shops but there's a very good reason why we're here guys I was on Facebook marketplace and I saw this person selling their husband's old I think it was like a 1990 something Ford F350 now that's not that important but the cool thing about the listing is in the picture I saw that it had a snow plow on it and remember we need a snow plow. So I'm thinking I'm gonna buy this truck just so that we can have the snow plow set up. And I'm hoping that it still works. So we're pulling up on the lady's house. Oh man, I guess it's under renovations. She probably really needs the money to fix up her house. It looks like it has a lot of roof damage and stuff like that. That's kind of unfortunate. She said something about her husband passing away too, and that's why she's selling a truck. So it's kind of a sad situation. She probably really needs the $5,000. But I'm on a budget, and I think I'm gonna try to lowball her, guys. I can't let her sob story make us not make a profit. So uh, let's see, what should we do? Uh, here's the truck. Oh wait, no, this is not the truck. This is a new truck. So I guess she got herself a new truck. And back here is the old truck, but why is it? surrounded by lumber and this thing is rusted oh my god man this is old but somehow the plow is still in good condition guys oh man this truck looks terrible but let me knock on her door and see what she's willing to do if uh she's willing to negotiate with us able to negotiate we, we're not gonna pay her the five thousand dollars now she said the 3500 was like a ripoff and i was scamming her but she was willing to take 4500 the only catch is i gotta move all this lumber out the way and this stuff is pretty heavy i really wish i brought my forklift because if i had my forklift i could have just moved this out the way one two three but yeah i'm gonna have to move all of these one by one or maybe i can just move everything over here i'll just try to move all of these first oh man i'm so tired that took forever but we finally got all the wood out the way now let's see if this thing starts i probably should have tried to start it before i gave her the money but it works okay perfect so let's get this onto our trailer i wonder if the hydraulics works uh it doesn't seem to be working but that's no problem i could take it back to the shop and i should be able to get it working uh let's see if i can get it onto the trailer though oh nice perfect i was worried the blade was gonna scratch up but it looks like we are good so let's get this attached and let's get out of here 
So we now have the plow and everything, but I just realized we need another key piece of equipment, guys. We need lights, and I'm trying to think of where we could buy like a nice emergency light kit from. Yeah, it always amazes me how he gets his motorcycle up there. It's so crazy. But anyway, I'm thinking of where I can go to get emergency lights, and I figured there's a junkyard up here. Maybe they'll have some crashed emergency vehicles. Again, we're trying to do a budget build, so if we could find something cheap, that would be perfect. Oh, he got the drop top out in Sandy. Look at that. That is cool. All right, what's going on here? I completely came in the wrong way, but that's okay. What the heck is this massive caterpillar doing here with whatever it's hauling? I don't know, that's kind of weird. So let's look around and see what we can find. I'm immediately seeing a fire truck and fire trucks do have lights on them. My only concern is that there's probably gonna be red lights and I can't really run red lights on a tow truck, at least not here in Los Santos. So that's probably not gonna work. This thing looks like it got destroyed, but you know, maybe we can use that on a future project if we ever need anything. Oh, nothing. I'm just looking for something with amber lights on it. You got anything, my main? No? Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a police car. Now, a police car and LS, they normally... Damn, this thing got destroyed. What happened to it? Like, something dropped on it. Even if we wanted to use that light bar, that thing is no good. But, um, yeah, they run red and blue lights, so, like... I would take these lights off, but they're no good either. It's not going to really help me out. I can't really run red and blue. So we need something with amber lights. Like if we can find an old tow truck or something. What's this? Ooh, security. This is a security vehicle, guys. Security vehicles run amber lights. This would be perfect. We could use that light bar on top. And does it have any grill lights? Uh, yes, it has the grill lights, so we got extra grill lights. And does it have any lights back here? It looks like it does. Okay, so we're gonna purchase this. Let me see how much money they want for it. Doesn't appear to be in good condition, but we just need the lights off of it and all the wiring. Hey man, um, how much for that security vehicle that's right over there on the other side of the plane? Oh, you want three thousand dollars for it? Um, I'll give you. Would you take two thousand? Two thousand dollars? You would? Okay, perfect. Here you go. You want a cash app? Not a problem. I'll send that right over. And thank you. Okay, so we were able to purchase that for two thousand five hundred. So let's get the truck over there and let's get it out of there. Wait, where the heck did the Ford go? Believe it or not, they tried to take my Ford, guys. They thought it was a scrap vehicle and they already started unloading it. I was like, hey, give me that back. Y'all even pay me for that thing. But luckily they didn't like, you know, mess it up yet or anything like that. So what we're gonna do now is back up until we get to that security vehicle. And then we should have enough space on this trailer to load it on. And then we can take everything back to the tow shop and finish working on our plow truck. Got a tight area to work in, but I think we got it. We just kind of straighten up the trailer and that should be perfect. Now I do have a winch on this thing, so I should be able to use that to pull it up since it is not running. What we'll do is we'll put down the ramps and we'll just connect the winch. And then with the winch, we'll be able to Pull it right on up. All right, pulling it right on up. And we should have just enough space for it to fit. And that is good, it's on the trailer. We are good to go. Let's get it locked down. Let's get out of here. So we got everything locked down and we are ready to get out of here. Very tight, but we got this, not a problem. And this was actually one of my favorite trailers. I haven't used this trailer in probably like three years or so, but oh, whoa, that was close. But yeah, this trailer is really cool. We can fit two vehicles on it. Sometimes we can even fit three vehicles on it if they're smaller, but it's very cool car haul the trailer. So now we're gonna get back on the highway. I think we have everything that we need. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. We got the lights, we got the plow. 
Is there anything else we're gonna need for this plow truck? There is one more thing that we're gonna need and that is a salt spreader. And that's the part that goes in the truck bed and then it sprinkles out the salt on the road. That would help us make more money because we'll be able to charge the customers for putting the salt down. So we have to find a salt spreader somewhere, get it to the shop and get it installed. Why are you stopping? Our mechanic is making great progress on the TRX and we unloaded the F-350 and the security car. So now he can work on getting that plow hooked up, getting all the hydraulics hooked up and getting all of the lighting hooked up. So it's coming along nicely, guys. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see this thing. And like I was saying, we do need a salt spreader and we need salt. So I have something else that's really cool to show you guys. So while he's working on that, let's go grab the salt and guess what I have to show you. Here we go. Look at that, guys. We have a Mack dump truck. Take a look at this thing. You're probably wondering why does a towing company needs a dump truck? Well, two things. I also own a construction company, but this one is not in my construction company. But um, the reason why we have a dump truck is because sometimes on cleanups, you know, like, you know, stuff gets all over the place and we got to clean up stuff on the highway and it's just easier to bring our own equipment. So we'll bring our own loader and we'll just be able to like lift stuff up and dump it in the bed and just, you know, clean up the scene faster. We don't have to rely on another company and we can build for it and make more money. So it's a good investment. Now, where we're going to get salt, there's only one place we can go, guys. We got to go all the way up to Sandy Shores yet again and go pick that up. So, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us and I'll see you guys once we get there. I forgot to tell you guys why we have a trailer too. So I'm pulling a trailer because we also have to pick up the salt spreader and I figured we'll just do it all at one time to save time and we'll just put it onto the trailer. So salt spreader is going on the trailer and the actual salt is going in the dump truck. Believe it or not, they're gonna let me load my own truck. So let's get this thing scooped up there and let's throw it into the truck. There we go, one load is in. I think I'll grab maybe two, maybe three. Let's see how much we can fit. So I went ahead and went with three loads that filled us up all the way to the top. And a truck load ended up being $2,200. That's a lot of money, but this thing should be able to last us all winter. It may even last us longer than winter, honestly. It's a, it's a lot of salt, so it should be a good investment overall. So now all we got to do is get back to the city and oh yeah, we got to remember, we got to pick up the actual salt spreader too. So salt spreader, you won't believe it, but I got a pretty good deal on it. I ordered it from China and somehow they had same day shipping. I don't even understand, but they said we could pick it up in about an hour. So let's head down to the docks and by the time we get there, it should be ready. Made it to the docks. So let's get this truck into position. We gotta get under this crane and then they will load us up. I like how they say hard hat area, but the workers who are here aren't even wearing a hard hat and they're like right underneath the giant crane. I'm gonna stand over here though, because, well, there's another crane there too. Let's, let's stand over here. Here should be safe. Hopefully, well, everywhere is dangerous, honestly. All of this stuff can fall on us and crush us, but we're gonna take our chances. Let's just wait for them to get us loaded and then we'll get out of here. There it is, guys. They have it in the container. Perfect. Now, I figured out why this thing was so cheap. Apparently, it was actually a return, and they were just about to ship it all the way back to China, and that's super expensive. So we were able to get it pretty much for a great price since it's cheaper for them to sell it to us than to ship it all the way back to China. So we got this thing for only $1,200, which is a steal. So I think that is everything we need for today. We've been running around working super hard and now we can finally put all the pieces together and check out our new plow truck. I'm so excited for this. Cannot wait to see it. And hopefully it snows tomorrow like the weatherman say. I mean, I am putting a lot of risk on the weatherman. And you guys know they do tend to get the weather wrong sometimes so hopefully they're not wrong and hopefully we get a lot of snow this year made it back to the shop just trying to get this thing inside without destroying anything 
It looks like we are good. And look at the truck, guys. He has the blade on. He has the lights on. That thing looks amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see. Should we turn it on yet? Test out the lights? Or should we just wait and see it all hooked up? This looks great. And look at the spreader. Wow, it looks like he upgraded a little bit. He got the salt dog. Got the poles on the side. This looks way better. Look at that. And we got the light bar on top, antennas. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. So I think the last thing we have to really do is put the bed on. We already removed the tailgate. So we're gonna get the bed out of there, put it on here. And after that, last thing we need is uh, graphics. Yeah, graphics, get this thing hooked up. So yeah, this looks great, guys. I'm so excited. Now, as far as the salt, um, I don't have space in here, but I can, just park it or I could dump it on the side of the shop and it should be fine and what we'll do is we'll use a skid steer to load it onto the salt spreader when we're ready I really need a better place to put this I should probably put it at my construction shop honestly but I'll just sit it here for now so this truck can actually lift up the gate opens and look at that oh that is so cool guys so you can actually see everything coming out and we'll just pull forward a bit. I know you're wondering why I'm walking backwards right now. And that's because my mechanic just told me great news. He says the truck is complete and everything is working perfectly. So I'm going to be looking at it for the first time with you guys. And I am super excited. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Look at it, guys. Whoa, the truck is complete. The logos, the graphics, the light, the salt spreader, the plow, everything is on it. So we went ahead and named this thing Trax Snow Removal Service and we put a Trax logo on the side, TSR for short, but this truck looks amazing guys. And I do want to give a huge shout out to Medic909, he's actually the creator of this mod. Shout outs to him and Code 3 Development if you guys want to check them out. Um, I will link their Discord down below in the video description. You can find some awesome mods as well as this one. And yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. They have civilian stuff, DLT tow trucks police cars fire trucks ems they have everything that you need for your 5m service so definitely check them out and they did a great job on this trx so let's check it out and see the lights oh my god the lights look great we got the headlight flashing the leds flashing we got the lights on top oh and they actually work the plow lights too because what happened is sometimes when you got the blade oh the blade works the blade blocks the headlights so you got to have those plow lights there as well hydraulics seems to be working nice 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 they can even pick up the truck a little bit it's so powerful this is amazing guys and we have the salt spreader in the back that can open up and we can put salt in it i'll do that later but let's let's take this thing for a drive Let's also check out the inside too. Hands on the steering wheel. This is a beautiful truck. Again, huge shout out to Medic909. If you guys wanna check this out, check out their Discord. You can find a bunch of fun stuff. Oh. You can find a bunch of fun vehicles there. And again, they all come set up for 5M. I am using this in single player right now, but yeah. Very fun mods to use for 5M. This is awesome. So let's test this thing out, guys. Let's take it for a little. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, wow. This thing is powerful. Yeah, this was a great buy getting this thing. That is amazing. It does come with a custom sound file. Um, I'm not using it right now because I was having an issue with it in single player. Again, it is set up for 5M. So I use another custom sound that I thought was similar. But yeah, this thing is amazing, guys. So according to the weather forecast, I know it looks nice and sunny today, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we're going to get this thing ready for tomorrow. And um, yeah, hopefully it snows and we'll be able to use it for the first time. I'm so excited. Let's just hit it one more time. Whoa, hold on. Oh. Goodness. I should have my lights on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ooh, the brakes are great. This is nice. This is awesome. All right, guys, so let's wait for tomorrow, and then we'll try this thing out in the snow. 
All right, guys, it is two days later. As you can see, the city is covered in snow. So I guess the meteorologists got it right. Now, the city and DOT, they are in charge of plowing the main roads, but I did get a contract. I had a friend, he's a politician, and he was able to give me a contract to plow Legion Square, and we're gonna be making a good amount of money. So it is currently 10 o'clock in the morning, and we gotta take care of all of the sidewalks, all of the parking spaces, and all of the roads around Legion Square. So we're gonna be pretty busy, but let's get to work. We're gonna put the plow down and start plowing. Actually, let's start with the sidewalks first. So we're gonna put the plow down and start clearing the road so that people can walk plows down and here we go it took me about three and a half hours but we are finally done plowing all of the pedestrian ways here in legion square but we are not done yet we still got to plow some of the roads now if you guys look out in the distance you can see dlt and the city they kind of plowed a bunch of the snow already but they didn't do anything in this area so we're going to take care of it and again that all falls under our contract so we're getting paid for this which is great and the good news is my friend who's a politician he's basically paying us enough money that we're basically recouping nearly half of our inv initial investment so this is gonna work out great guys so let's see i am going to back up all the way over here and we're gonna start plowing from here so we're gonna put the blade down and here we go Sometimes the blade does get caught up a little bit, but as you guys can see, the snow is going away, which is perfect. Some of the places we are gonna have to make multiple passes, but it's pretty cool. We're able to kind of get an idea of what it's like to plow snow in GTA 5. Obviously we can't actually do it, but you know, this is a way that we could kind of RP us plowing some snow. Oh boy. That must be some ice we hit right there. There's a nice pass, knocking it out. Alright, so we made our first pass and so we did knock out a good amount of the snow. So let's continue going around. We got another section right here to knock out. Perfect. This side is already clear for the most part, but over here still has a lot of snow we gotta take care of. I just made another good pass. They missed a lot of spots over here. I guess we'll just take care of it. This is kind of out of our area, but I do wanna make the road safe, so I'll just kinda take care of that. And then we'll take care of this area over here. All right, so after this final pass, I think we're gonna be good to go, guys. It is now an hour and about 15 minutes later, and I pretty much have most of the snow all taken care of. I think I did miss a spot over on this side, but man, this was one heck of a job, guys. It was basically us going around and around and around and around but we finally nearly got it done. So let's take out this last piece. And I think that is the last piece, guys. So we are now officially done. Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what we should do next. But more importantly, click right here to watch me drive the biggest truck in GTA 5. This thing was so long and it was a challenge to get it from one part of the state all the way to the other side of the state. It was a lot of fun to drive and it was crazy. Click here to watch and I'll see you guys over there.